Welcome. There's a couple of things that I want to do. First, I want to translate accounting back into English as far as what's happening in the transactions. And then I want to take the information that I've put into accounting and create a cash flow statement. So what we're going to do is go back to the basic accounting equation, which is assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. And you'll remember that's the balance sheet. Plus revenue minus expenses is our, our income statement. And I have created what we call T accounts to keep the information organized. And what we're going to do is if it's an asset, it's going to be increased by the left side and decreased by the right side. If it's on the other side of the equation, then it's going to be increased by the right side and decreased by the left side. So if it's a liability or a stockholder's equity account, uh, it goes that way. And then because there's this minus sign in front of the expenses, it acts like asset accounts. In other words, it's increased by the right, the left side and decreased by the right side. So let's play accounting detective and figure out what happened. So we're going to look for all the number ones. So I have a number one that increased cash $10,000 and I have a number one that increased common stock $10,000. So translating that into English is we sold stock to our investors for $10,000. So that's the first transaction. Because it has to do with common stock, that means it's a financing activity, and that's why I have an F by there, because the financing came from our investors. Number two is a debit to, oh, a right, left side to cash for $10,000, and a right side, oh, to notes payable for $10,000. So there we borrowed $10,000 from a bank or from someone else and signed a note. So my cash increased and my notes increased. Because this is a long-term liability, it's a financing activity, so we put an F by it. Number three, we're increasing our cash, $5,000. We're increasing our accounts receivable, $10,000 and we're increasing our revenue 15. So it looks like we sold goods or services to our customers for 15,000. 5,000 was a cash sale and 10,000 was the customers financed it instead. Because this has to do with revenue, it's an operating activity, so we have a little O by it. Number four is a uh, decrease in cash of four, and oh, I see that we also have an increase in accounts payable of four, and our expenses increased eight. So let me explain. It looks like we used or consumed $8,000 of expenses, supplies expense, rent expense, utilities expense, something like that. So our expenses increased eight, we paid $3,000 cash for those expenses, and we used our credit card for the rest, or we financed the rest. So we'll pay that later. Because this has to do with expenses, it's an operating activity. Number five has to do with an increase in cash of $10,000 and a decrease in accounts receivable of $10,000. So it appears that our customers paid their bills. So if that's the case, the cash increased uh, and the other asset accounts receivable decreased. Because it has to do with a current asset, it's an operating activity. Uh, number six, let's see, oh look, looks like our equipment increased $9,000. Also our notes payable increased $4,000 and our cash went down five. So, translation, we purchased equipment by putting $5,000 down, and we financed the rest with a note payable. So, how would I handle that? Well, since it has to do with equipment, 
The equipment is an investing activity, so that 5,000 has to do with investing. And the last one we have is a decrease in cash of 2,000 and an increase, oops, a decrease in dividends, which means a decrease in stockholders' equity of 2,000. So translation, we paid dividends to our stockholders. The last thing I want to do, and then we'll continue on the next tape, is find the balance in cash. So if I add up the left sides, I come to 35,000. If I add up the right sides, I come to 10,000. So the difference is the left side is bigger than the right side by 25,000. In the next one, we'll take that 25,000, which is the ending cash balance, and we'll create a statement of cash flows. See you soon.